like many other societies, was comprised of three categories of people because of their social economic occupation. Tutsi, predominantly, those who are called Tutsi, were predominantly cattle keepers, and Hutus were occupied with the farming, majority of them. And the Tours, which is a, a smaller group, also doing other activities, economic activities uh, that included uh, uh, artisan, you know, uh, handicrafts and hunting and so on. The type of leadership that was there for so many centuries was the monarchy. So there was a king and chiefs managing the affairs of the nation state peacefully. Much as people were still poor, struggling like many other societies everywhere in the world, that was the level of development. But they were peaceful and safe. We speak the same language, we practice the same traditions, we share the culture. We don't have regions for Hutus and Tutsis. We are all mixed. Hundreds of years of intermarriages, you can't tell who is who. Colonial masters, to achieve the divide and rule policy, they had to find a way of dividing the people. Because it's difficult to penetrate this society, what do you use? Use physical features. Tutsi long nose is a Tutsi, big eyes is a Tutsi. It even reached a point where it was so primitive, so to say. Like, if you have so many cows, then you are a Tutsi. If you have less cows, you are a Hutu. And I don't know what was going to happen for a person who had more cows and maybe they die and then he doesn't have cows, then he becomes another tri You know, it's so confusing. But much as this is so ridiculous, but it was, it was a smart idea for ideologues, for people who thought about this uh, divide and rule and eventually committing a genocide against a section of population. The divide and rule policy that entrenched divisions, that institutionalized ethnicity in terms of measuring and documenting, uh, in terms of uh, issuing identity cards, was embraced by the post-independence successive regimes. Now, colonization ends in 1960s, during the independence, we are supposed to bring together the citizens, the people. In our particular case, the post-independence successive regimes failed in all aspects to bring together our people. On the contrary, they entrenched the hate and continued to practice the identity politics which then culminated in the 1994 genocide.